I'm Mike James and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the calculator to deseasonalize data. Deseasonalization or seasonally adjustment of data is a form of smoothing which takes out the seasonal effects of the data so that a trend line can be fitted and long-term trends can be predicted. Okay, so we have this example in front of us where the quarterly sales figures, that is the number of houses sold, were recorded by a real estate agency for, the years, uh, for each of the years from 2010 to 2012. And you can see in quarter 1 of 2010, 52 houses were sold, quarter 2, 73 houses were sold, and so on. So I'm going to go into the calculator straight away and go into lists and spreadsheets view and plot the sales for each quarter which I've already done here to speed things up a bit and you can see the quarters are listed in this first column quarter one quarter two quarter three quarter four quarter five quarter six and so on and the sales corresponding sales figures in the column B so let's see what these figures look like in a scatter plot so I'm going to hit home and go to data and statistics view and I'm going to hit tab and make quarter the x-axis because it's a time series we always put the time along the x-axis hit tab again and choose sales as our y values so you can see the scatter plot but it's a good idea to join the points up because it's a time series so to do that you just hit menu plot properties and enter and connect data points which is at the top and you can see now we have a typical time series now what you should note it's very difficult to decide on the actual trend of the sales over the years because uh, there's quite a lot of uh, troughs and peaks quite a bit of variation and you should also notice that there tends to be a peak at every third quarter so the data is quite seasonal so let's go back now to the main page and you can see that the quarterly indices seasonal indices have been calculated for us. So for quarter one the seasonal index is 0 0.7448, quarter two 1.2267 and so on. Now a good check if you have to calculate these things is to add them up and they should come to four because there are four quarters in a year. The next step is to seasonally adjust or deseasonalize the original sales figures. Now to do that you simply divide sales figures in quarter one by the appropriate appropriate seasonal index which is 0 0.7448 so you divide these three numbers here by 0 0.7448 and you divide the sales figures for quarter two by 1.2267 and so on so that will generate this table here so I've done the calculations and these are the seasonally adjusted uh, sales figures. So I've now deseasonalized the uh, data and I'm going to record this data in lists and spreadsheets view in the calculator. So I'm going to just hit control and go back to lists and spreadsheets view and you can see deseasonalized is short for deseasonalized data and the sales uh, deseasonalized uh, figures have been recorded in this column here. So I'm now going to go back to data and statistics, go into this view and I'm going to add by hitting menu the seasonally adjusted figures to this graph. So I'm going to hit menu plot properties, add y variable, and I'm going to choose deseasonalized. And there we have it. You can see the deseasonalized sales figures in this graph. You can also see that the original graph has been flattened out and it's a bit easier now to see the overall trend of the sales figures from the deseasonalized graph. It's pretty flat as you can see but there's a very slight increase in sales over the years. 
We can also use the deseasonalize graph to figure out the least squares regression line and make more accurate predictions from that. So that's what we're going to do next. I'm going to hit tab now, go back to the y-axis and hit enter and just plot the deseasonalized graph only. So there it is. These are the deseasonalized figures. And I'm going to find the equation of these squares by hitting menu, analyze regression and show linear mx plus b. So there's the line of best fit for the seasonally adjusted figures and there's the equation. Now I've copied that equation down here onto the main page. There it is in red. And we can use this equation now to make reasonably accurate forecasts. So that's what we're going to do next. Now the only difference, instead of x, I've put t in for time. Let's say we have to forecast the sales figures for the third quarter of 2013. Now to do this, you make, need to take t equals 15. And we just substitute into that equation and we'll get 77.239. Now you've got to be very careful here because you've got to remember that this is the seasonally adjusted or the deseasonalized sales figures for the third quarter of 2013. Suppose we want to find the actual sales figures. Well, to find the forecast of the actual sales figure, we have to multiply the seasonal index for the third quarter, which is given in this table here, 1.3871, by the seasonally adjusted figure, or the deseasonalized prediction, which was 77.239. So that's what I've done here. The prediction of the actual sales figure is 1.3871 multiplied by 77.239, which gives us result here and we can round that to 107. So, the forecast for the third quarter of 2013 would be about 107 houses would be sold. And that's how you use the calculator to deseasonalize data.